Well, hi there, everybody. I am Mike at Filmboy24. I'm your friendly neighborhood film shooter. I got a brand new camera, well, new to me, and I needed to test it. So I took an older roll of Ektachrome 100D 7285, and I went to my dad's house, and I shot it. Yep, bought a brand new camera, and I can almost safely say that it is brand new. You know, I've owned hundreds of Super 8 cameras in the last 35 years, and I don't think I've ever owned one in this good of a condition. I, I couldn't find a single scratch, scrape, blemish, anything. The only thing that I could tell was that the little sticker on the lens was peeled off and then there's some glue residue that I've yet to clean off. Outside of that, there, I mean, there isn't a scratch on it. The lens is absolutely perfect. It's a Canon Auto Zoom 814 Electronic. Now, I have a Canon 814 Auto Zoom tucked away over there somewhere already. Didn't have an electronic, so I really wanted one and the price was right. I do have a a 1014 auto zoom electronic that works great i couldn't pass this up for 80 bucks so i got it the lady said it worked and that everything was in good condition and i think she under described it because it is immaculate and as soon as i turn it on you'll hear it purring like a tiger these are nice robust little Handheld cameras. I'm not going to get into a whole lot of detail. If you guys are interested in some, like some camera review and breakdowns, whoa, settle down. Let me know. I'd be happy to do a couple of review videos or a few review videos and give you my thoughts on them and go over some of the features. It's just not something I have done as of yet. But if that's something you might be interested in, you let me know. Anyway, I really wanted to test this little bad boy out. So I kind of thought, what better way to test out a camera than to grab a really old roll of film? Well, really old, I mean, you know, they discontinued this particular 100D, I believe in 2010, and then reintroduced it in the last few years. But this is the older 7285 100D. I have a few rolls of this left. So I wanted to test it out. It is a daylight balance film, and I knew I would be shooting outdoors. Now this camera will accept and understand and expose properly 100 speed film. So I popped in the uh, little 85 filter canceller into the top, even though I know when you put this roll of daylight film into the camera, it will auto cancel the filter. I felt all warm and fuzzy by putting that in there. Besides it's nice and red and pretty and it kind of makes the camera look cool. Anyway, I, uh, I set everything to auto because I wanted to test the metering on this camera as well. And what I noticed was everything may have been underexposed by half a stop-ish, which wasn't too bad for me because I can clean it up a little bit in post. So I loaded the camera with the film, packed it up, drove out with my two little girls to my father and stepmother's house. They live on a couple of acres and brought along my trusty monopod because you never really know when you need a semi-steady shot. And I focused mainly on sort of zoomed in or close subjects. I don't recommend and I don't do a lot of zooming while filming because to me it's just cheesy and it looks very home movie amateurish. But I do like zooming and leaving it make any sense so I did so you know the typical some flowers some goofy I tried to find some things with some color in them and I found that it, it I don't know if this film looked better or worse than my previously shot roll of 7285 which if you haven't seen that video check it out I shot it on my Canon 1014 XLS or one of them uh, and it came out pretty well overall I'm relatively happy with the results. I love this camera and I'm going to show you the results in one second. But before I do, if you're new to my channel, I primarily focus 98% on movie film 
And most everything is film related on this channel. I love the 80s. I love 80s films. I love 80s music. So if that's the kind of thing that you're interested in, stick around. I got a lot more coming. I like Super 8, 8mm and 16mm movie film. I also shoot a lot of 35mm and 120 format film, which I think I'm going to start segueing into a little bit more on this channel. So if you like still photography, that's coming soon. Soon. So without a lot more of this, let me quickly get right into my results. <laughs> that monopod envy Don't. okay I'm not let me start by saying I'm not an expert at coloring film in fact I haven't seen a whole lot of people that are actually that good at it and if you are you're probably making a lot of money at it I'm one of them that's not that great at it I'm learning day in and day out how to adjust levels properly and color balance and color grade uh, it didn't turn out that bad I didn't think, as you could probably see, it was a little tiny bit underexposed. The colors could use a little boost, but you know, again, there's the color grading and whatnot. Whenever you render a video like what you're watching right now, stop pointing, man, and you render it at 30 frames per second, and you shoot the film, which I did at 24 frames per second, that's the film. And then you render that timeline out as a finished product. Well, your film lines or your film frames sort of blend. It, 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 mixing frame speeds just doesn't always work. So, so a lot of times when you watch these videos, if it's not one of my uh, small film showcase videos where I can render it at 24 or 18 frames per second, and you're watching this this goofy, crazy guy talk about his film and show it, well, you're going to see the film in all of its blended frame glory. So sometimes there might be a little bit of ghosting when the camera moves and things like that. Unfortunately, that's the nature of the beast when you combine frame rates and render. Anyway, I, again, I don't think it came out terrible. If you did, well, let me see yours. Okay. Now I scanned this roll on my Movie Stuff Retro Scan Universal Mark I unit. If you want to buy me the Mark II unit, let me know. Send me an email. I'll take it. <clears throat> Sorry, I just yeah yeah. Uh, I scanned it in 2K, 
uncompressed and then I rendered from the scanning software as an AVI compressed. I point a lot. Stop it. I know my mom's cursing me right now, even though she doesn't really curse that much. But I don't either. Moving on. If this is the kind of video that you enjoy, if this is the kind of content you enjoy, if this is the kind of goofiness that you enjoy, do me a huge solid and punch that like button for me. Annihilate it, destroy it, but don't hurt your iPad, your iPhone, or your computer. Please, I don't have any money to pay for it. And I'm especially thankful to each and every single one of my friends that have subscribed to this channel. Please subscribe, hit that bell notification, and then you're gonna be aware of when I finally upgrade my Krasnogorsk 3 from regular 16 to Super 16. That's coming real soon. Got all the parts ready to go. Probably shoot one more roll at regular, upgrade to Super, and we'll go from there. Keep an eye out. Those are coming soon. Stop. So do me a favor and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think of my footage. Let me know what your YouTube channel is. I'd like to come and check your content out as well. And until the very next time that you and I meet again, I'll see you on the next go around.